Hey, it's Walt K4OGO, or should I say for the next six weeks, SP Stroke K4OGO. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm over in Poland. I'm going to be here working for six weeks and um, love it when I come over here because I have a house here that I'm staying in with a big backyard. And that means I can make horizontal antennas, something I can't do at home. I live on the top floor of a condominium and then... Um, as you know, I work the beach and places like that. It, what really calls for a vertical. So I love coming over here and putting up horizontal antennas while I'm here. And what I usually do is I go out and buy, I, I look through and just research and buy horizontal antennas that are made by other amateurs and sell them on different places. Well, today I've got a really cool in-fed half wave that I'm gonna start out with here. I love using the in-fed half wave because it's easy for me to deploy. I just open up the back window, throw the wire out and then run it over to a fence and then up I go. It's, it's really wonderful. So um, the one I have today is a, a variable uh, infant half wave. I know it's hard to explain. What is a variable? Well, you can go from 49 to one, 56 to one or 64 to one with this antenna. It's called the Xtenna by Xtenna Antennas and I bought it on Etsy. I'll give you all I can um, and how to get to this on Etsy in the comments. But um, let's, uh, let's go put this thing up and see how I go here my first weekend in Poland. As I said, I purchased this on Etsy for 60 US dollars. Uh, when I came across this, I was like, wow, that looks like a cool antenna. And it really is. I really love the fact that with the switch, you can go from 49 to 1, 56 to 1, or 64 to 1. Along with it, I also purchased 70 foot of uh, antenna wire to go along with it from the same builder. So um, pretty cool. I trimmed that down to about 67 feet, and uh, here we go. Okay, so that's monofilament fishing line, 50 pound fishing line over there to the trees at the edge of the garden. Connected to the wire and up to the top of the bedroom window. Man, that is a stealthy antenna. If you're looking for something people can't see, that thing is stealthy. Let's go fire it up and see if I can make some contacts with it. Hopefully this will be a permanent setup for a little while because I uh, had some luck here. This very situation, very window, very angle with an in-fed half wave in the past. So let's see how we do. What I really love about this type of antenna is I could just shut the wire at the top of the window and run the wire out the back. It works great. I've experimented with this before. I've plotted out from past history about three different angles of using a long wire antenna in this backyard and, uh, and found that uh, these are the best. So over the weekend, I've experimented with all three angles here on my first weekend. Over this first weekend, using my Zygu G90 and my Zygu X5105, both 20 watts and 5 watts, I've worked 17 different European countries, and I also worked the United States, Massachusetts, in the east coast of the United States. Instead of like, showing you every QSO, there's a few clips from some of my uh, favorite moments from this past weekend using this antenna. Sugar Papa stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL is Sugar Papa Stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. I'm an American working in Poland. Yes, QSL Volker, coach you there, sir. Uh, thank you very much. You're 5 and 9, uh, 59. I heard you before, but this station was just slightly stronger. I do apologize, so thank you for your patience. Uh, Sugar so you Papa Stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar, you're 5 and 9 at the Aberdeen Beach. Uh, Roger, Roger, you're five seven here. I'm only running twenty watts. I'm very curious how close you are to the water there at the beach. Now, Roger, Roger, I uh, I do a lot of operating on the beach here in North America. So I was curious when I heard you say you were at Aberdeen Beach. I had to make the contact. Yeah, 
to say. But thank you very much for calling in. Uh, take care, my friend, and uh, have a good weekend. Uh, 73 from Aberdeen Beach, shall we? Yes, yes, Duncan, thank you. 73, have a great night. I'm here just working for, uh, for the, uh, doing a government stint for six weeks here. Okay, very good, Ralph. I'll be able to have a pleasure of another contact. Uh, uh, so, anyway, I'm going to bump ready to shut down over here, but uh, great to put you in the log. I guess you're going to be the last one. Trigger off the stroke, K4G, okay, what do you think? QSL, QSL, you are 5.9 into the north of Poland. I am just 5 watts QRP, so it's good to uh, get the signal across. Thank you for the signal report there. The name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. Thank you, Mickey Bra. Thank you very much. Uh, 73. Hey, Dor. I think my favorite QSOs of the weekend where I had two QSOs with my friend Morton, LB0FI over in Norway. He has a great YouTube channel. Love this guy. And I highly suggest you get over there and subscribe to his channel. He was kind enough to record our QSO and send it to me so I could hear myself at 20 watts on my G90 over in Norway. So Roger that. I moved the, uh, I, I repositioned the uh, inside half wave, so I'd be broadside to you guys there in uh, Scandinavia, so it should be a lot better. When conditions are good, we should have no problem making a very good piece of Yeah, Roger. Yeah, it, it's still usable, though. Uh, still very usable. Um, just one question. You Are you using the G90 there with uh, 20 watts over? Sorry, Are you using your G90 there with uh, 20 watts? Over. Yeah, Roger. 20 watts works really well. Uh, I'm kind of regretting that I sold that radio. Over. Yeah, I had this radio. I kept looking for something else to bring over with me, and then uh, I just figured, you know, I had such success in the G90, I'll bring it again. So I, I put the forward in the back uh, platform. And I could put it in a nice little cushion pouch and I put it in the back bag and uh, on, on check on and I brought it with me. I'm glad I did. I love this radio. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. I'm really pleased with this antenna. I'm glad I bought it, man. What I failed to mention earlier is Xtenna antennas. The builder is KC8YBC. Uh, go check out his Etsy shop um, with his, his antennas. And um, really, hey, I'm really glad. It's a great antenna. And I'm really excited because I can use this for other projects. I have a 64 to 1 vertical that I want to build in. I don't have the unun for that. So I'm going to use this for that when I get back home to Virginia. Anyway, a quick channel update. I haven't posted a video in 15 days now, and um, that's one of the longest periods of time I've gone without posting a video since I started the channel. But I'll tell you why. Um, I'm not the YouTuber that's going to put something up three, every three or four days just to, uh, to get uh, ad revenue and that type of thing. I'm not doing this as a business. And, and for the guys that do that, good for you. I understand. You know, you, you work hard and there are some great videos out there. Me, I'm only going to put stuff up that I find interesting that I want to get out there. So um, hopefully if you don't see me for a while, you'll know I'm uh, over in the shop doing something else, trying to get something together that I find interesting. I love the radio hobby and I love making videos. It's a lot of fun and, and I enjoy it greatly. Um, I'm going to be here for what, five more weeks now. I have a few more antennas that I brought with me. Also brought with me some um, medium wave AM um, 
DXing equipment, uh, some stuff. So I'm doing some of that. I've already heard some uh, some medium wave pirates. So I'm going to put up something uh, and some shortwave pirates. I also have a little uh, SDR uh, shortwave receiver with me too. So um, I'm going to do some shortwave listening, some medium wave listening, uh, a whole lot of uh, operating QRP and 20 watts with my other antennas. So there'll be some videos up here that aren't really uh, maybe amateur radio uh, specific, but uh, other parts of the radio hobby that I enjoy. So, um, if you uh, if, if you're into the channel and you support it, thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, you can watch my adventure over the next five weeks left. Um, then I'm going home for six weeks. Then I'll be back over here. I'm scheduled to be here until Christmas, uh, so uh, I'll get to uh, see the propagation change as the winter comes as well. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Until next time, I'm Walt, Sierra Papa, Stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. See you later. Goodbye from Poland.